Hi, this is Ron Piner again for Trask Performance. Today we're going to do a video on installing our Trask bar risers. As you can see, these are one of our risers right here. Very stout. And part of the problem with some of the risers you have, as you can tell, the bikes move around, bars move around quite a bit. Even though that front wheel's clamped down, I'm getting that much movement out of my bars. That's something we're trying to avoid. Okay, and let's take a look at our new Trask riser kit. Here's the risers, as you can see, they're nice and beefy, large, solid. Here's the, end, the new milled end cap with the Trask logo on it. Relief cut, looks pretty sharp, huh? It comes with the two risers, the end cap, and eight stainless steel 12-point bolts. So, now that we see what the kit looks like, let's go put it on. All right, first we're gonna start off with taking unbolting the gauge assembly, the gauge cluster. Uh, whenever you unbolt the handlebar riser and the gauge cluster, you wanna be able to set them back onto the tank. So make sure you got a cover, blanket, something solid over here to protect the tank, and we're gonna set them down. And then we'll unbolt the risers from the bottom over here. Now, one thing to mention is if you're putting on our risers, our eight inch risers, and you started out with shorter riser, you may need to extend the wiring in the harness. Then when you're installing our risers, you simply put the risers in place, put the bolts in the bottom in here, then you want to set the handlebars back in place, set the riser clamp in place, snug down the riser clamp, put your gauges back in place, snug down the bolts. Now the reason I say snug is because we want everything in place so as we're tightening them everything can be centered and clamped down really good. So once everything's basically put back, with a three-quarter inch socket and a pretty decent sized ratchet, you get up underneath the bolts that go into the bottom of the risers and torque them down. Now these need to be torqued down to at least 100 foot-pounds. Once you tighten the lower risers, you're done. That's it. Again, make sure that the wires reach and they're not being tugged or interfered with in any way. And make sure you're also your control cables reach comfortably and aren't interfered with in any way. Much tighter. 